Yo, what's cooking? Good looking. It is Soul Entertainment TV, and uh, I'm playing Dead Frontier with a couple of uh, supposed friends. I don't know. They're both pretty fucking ugly and stupid, but. Um, but I wanted to make this video today because I'm gonna go. Well, I know I suck dick. I gotta make money somehow, considering my job doesn't fucking give me any hazard pay. Listen, this is gonna be. This is. I'm gonna be fighting. I'm 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 gonna be fighting a couple of bosses today. I'm going up to four flaming long arms right now. Hopefully, I make it. But I'm also going to be ranting about a couple of things, and and I'm gonna explain what those things are gonna be. Um, I'm gonna explain, or I'm going to be ranting about the fact that there are so many people right now that get to sit on their couch and collect unemployment while I have to work around sick fucking people. Um, but yet I don't listen. I don't get any fucking hazard pay. I make. I'm not going to sit here and, and, and go into detail about how much I make at the job that I work at, but I don't get any extra money for being out and working in an environment where I get no safety equipment. If somebody came in with corona, this is what I get right here. I can put my shirt over my face, and that's it. That's the kind of environment I fucking work in. And you have these nurses and these doctors and all this shit. They are fucking bitching and complaining for people to stay inside because... They work, or they save lives, or they do what they do so that way, you know, uh, 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 we don't fucking have to. But they're families, and they're at risk. You chose that fucking profession. You make six figures, if not slightly under six-figure salaries to fucking... You made that... That's like being a cop and saying, oh, I didn't know I was going to get shot at or have to fucking break up fights. You chose that profession. Now all of a sudden, a fucking a a, a pandemic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do quotations around that because I do think people are overreacting. But a pandemic breaks the fuck out, and now you want to complain about your fucking having to do your job when you get paid six figures. You're in a place that has hand sanitizer, that has face masks, that has scrubs. You can wash your hands consistently. You have these things that, if used properly, they. Protect you more than my fucking shirt over my face. And I get paid... The amount that I get paid less than you is disgusting. But I still have to fucking be out in it. You know, the job that I have... There, there. I didn't sign up to fucking to be maced in the face by somebody's fucking spit from their mouth, which has corona laced in it. Like that was not a part of my job fucking contract. The things I fucking had to 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 look out for. But yet I'm still out here with no hand sanitizer, no fucking face mask, no wipes, no nothing, making my measly fucking pennies while you complain about being in a relatively safe environment making almost six fucking figures. Are you fucking kidding me? And I'm not going to sit here and, 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 and harp on these people saying that they're not important right now. They very much are important. They, they, the shit, the work that they do is very hard work. And I do think that they deserve the pay that they get. But do not do not sit here and complain about the job and the profession you chose. You can't fucking choose to be a football player and then when they're like, oh, you actually have to get out on the field and run, go, well, I didn't practice any cardio. You can't fucking do that. You chose to be a nurse. You chose to be a doctor. You knew you were going to be dealing with fucking diseases. You're in a relatively safe fucking environment. And I understand that you have to deal with this. It's like, oh, well, the corona victims, they come to my door. Right, but so do the fucking hand wipes. And so do the fucking hand sanitizer. And everything that you fucking need to be relatively fucking safe. As long as used properly, which you should know how to use properly because you're a fucking nurse or a doctor, you'll be relatively all right. I feel bad for your children, though, if you have any, because, you know, they, you might not have hand sanitizer at your house or hand wipes at your house. Who am I kidding? You fucking work in a hospital. You probably steal that shit anyway, fucking bum. But, I, 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 don't fucking complain about your profession that you chose. You made, you make fucking six figures. I make barely fucking maybe 35, maybe 30 grand a fucking year, and I work 65 fucking hours a week. In a place that can't even supply me with fucking face masks or gloves. If I want it, I have to buy it if it's in. Not to mention, we get rioted all the fucking time. Like, there are people who, who will stop the fuck over you for a roll of toilet paper. They will end your life over a roll of fucking toilet paper. So, uh, please don't complain about your job. 
that's uh, that's what you fucking signed up for. And I, I do realize that people do need to stay inside, and you probably should be um, inside because, I mean, you really don't have a reason to be out right now anyway. Um, you know, fucking cities are going under quarantine and, and, and shit like that. So stay your ass inside. I'm not saying don't stay inside, but do not sit here and fucking make these stupid videos. First of all, don't you have a fucking life to be saving right now? But you're over here in my fucking face on my Facebook wall with your fucking cue cards that you have all fucking prepared. Like this is 2016 when emo girls used to talk about cutting themselves because they get bullied in fucking high school. Like, don't you have fucking something better to be doing? Like, honestly. And I'm going to be... I, like, I, like, I'm going to be... I, like, I'm just being dead on... I mean, y'all can talk if you want and put in your two cents. You don't have to be quiet. Like, I'm playing with you guys for a reason, but... You know, it... it oh, I was just intrigued listening. It's like... it. it it pisses me off because I don't get paid that much. I, I I'm not again. I'm not gonna go into how much I get paid, but I get paid under. I, I I'll just say slightly over minimum wage, to be in a facility that cannot supply me with the equipment required to protect myself. God forbid anybody came in. All I could do is throw fists and hope that I knock the person out before they can spit on me. I mean that that's really fucking it. That's what I have. So, you know, or I could get fucking stampeded by a group of people for some fucking cotton L. Like... How did that go today? I know you said you were at that, that wild fucking store. Oh, yeah, I was at a wild fucking store. It, 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 when I fucking brought out the hand sanitizer dog, I had knife in fucking hand. I don't care. They're like, like oh, well... a line of, like, fucking poor hungry orphans waiting. <laughs> yeah, yeah you know, knives are against our policy. I don't give a fuck. Uh, you know what's against my policy? Getting stomped over some fucking hand sanitizer. So, I'm sorry. Um... But, uh, you know, it, you, you, again, you chose that profession, do your fucking job, shut up, do your job, and, 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 you know, can, you can complain about the idiots who keep going outside, but do not complain about having to fucking treat diseases and, 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 and viruses. Lord have fucking mercy on my soul. Did you just post a dick pic in the chat or something? <laughs> Would not surprise me. What, 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 did you just almost die or something? What the fuck are you talking about? Regardless, just do your job. You know, I do my job. I don't ever complain about my job and the work that I have to fucking do. But what I will complain about right now is the fact that the CEO of Dollar General, uh, the company I work for, doesn't give out hazard pay. As far as I'm concerned, I have not received, nor are they planning to give out hazard pay. Because again, like I said, it was not part of my job description to have to fucking deal with a bunch of bloodthirsty, fucking toilet-hungry, corona-infested fucking monsters. That was not a part of my job description. Amazon, UPS, USPS, Pussy Express. They're all, they're all giving out fucking hazard pay. They're paying all of their employees either time and a half for their regular hours instead of fucking overtime, or they're giving them like 2 or $3 extra an hour just for coming into work and having to deal with this bullshit. My fucking CEO? Nah, couldn't give a fuck. Can't supply us with fucking... With hand sanitizer and shit. We have to buy it our fucking selves. Fucking no extra money. No nothing. Not o not only does do we not get any extra fucking money. But I'm working si like 60 fucking 5 hours a week. Which just increases my chances. Don't get me wrong. I, I Fuck it. I want the money. But it increases my chances of fucking getting it. So when the president and the CEO of my company were on a phone call to decide whether or not his company was going to stay open. I know he was sucking so much dick to make sure that his company stayed open so he could make money. But he doesn't give a fuck about his employees. And I don't care if he fucking sees this. And I get fired. Because fuck you. If you ever came into my store, I'd slap the fucking hair follicles off of you. For the way you treat your employees. And I'm going to be honest. We can't, in, in, in our break room, we can't have fucking, we can't have paper plates. We can't have eating utensils. We can't even have fucking bottled water without having a fucking, without having a receipt taped around it because they fucking think that every single one of their employees is a thief. What do you want me to fucking eat off of? The table? The floor? God forbid you fucking gave us a table. I can't believe there's even a fucking refrigerator back there in the fucking break room. The fucking working, the working conditions for that store, for, for Dollar General in, in just, period, are fucking disgusting. The way you treat your employees is fucking disgusting. I'm not going to take it up with the regional manager or the district manager because it's not their fucking fault. They do their job. 
They come to our stores and they tell us what to fucking do. That's their job. Congratulations, they get paid almost fucking six figures to do that. But at the end of the day, the CEO makes the fucking rules for the company. He also handles pay. And he cannot give his employees that are out here right now making him millions of fucking dollars any hazard pay. Any extra pay at all. And he made some bullshit fucking video where he read off a bunch of cue cards that somebody else probably fucking wrote thanking his employees. Well, hardly thanking his employees, if I can call it that. My man does nothing for the fucking company except sit back and rake in fucking payment. And it's disgusting the way he fucking, the way, the way Dollar General employees are treated. Point blank fucking period. I, I, I cannot fucking believe that all of these companies that are still open are giving their fucking employees some kind of, uh, um, I'm going to keep calling it hazard pay, but that might not be what it's called. But like they're giving them some kind of pay increase just to show their gratitude for them still coming into work with all the bullshit going on. But the CEO of Dollar General, no, 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 no. He could care less if we fucking catch Corona. And you know what? If I do catch Corona on his grounds, I don't even think he would fucking care. He'd probably, I'd probably be laying in a hospital bed, fucking dying, and he could call me and go, get back to work. Because he does not give a fuck about his employees or the way his stores are run. He just cares about raking in his fucking profit. What were you saying? I was going to say, look in chat, but um, my grandmother, she doesn't get any hazard pay, and she works at a company called Paris Cleaners. Um. She works in the pillow sort department where they take in all these dirty hospital linens and gowns from um, hospitals of the state and the surrounding states. That would be a part of that would be a part of her 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 contract yeah. though. Yeah, it, it's that, part of her contract. That's why she's not getting any hazard pay. It's like it's like why nurses and doctors aren't getting any hazard pay. Yeah, it's fucking sad that some that the, the way some people have to work right now, then, they have to work around this virus, and then. But um, the bad thing is, some of the hospital, some of the nurses and doctors in these hospitals are taking their gowns that are contaminated with COVID nineteen in their coats and shit, and they're putting it with the clean stuff, so they don't know if it's contaminated and they're touching it. Well, they're just fucking idiots, but I mean, the there's hospital. all these people. All these people who are fucking sitting at home right now because their store is closed or whatever, they get to fucking collect unemployment. Not to mention this this money break or this tax break that Donald Trump is supposed to be fucking getting and giving to every fucking American. So why am I getting paid the same amount of money to put my life at fucking risk? Going to fucking stores that could potentially be contaminated or the people that are in them could be contaminated... Why do I get paid less money to put my fucking life at risk while these people sit home on their fucking couches? Well, the, the sad truth is because you're an essential store. Right, because, because I'm an essential store. But the thing was is they had a fucking phone call. If I'm to believe what the Dollar General CEO said, which I fucking cannot believe what he said, they had a phone call to decide who would stay open and who would close. And I already know the CEO for my company was sucking dick to make sure that his fucking co- that to make sure that his company would stay open because they were talking about closing it. I understand this. I understand this. It doesn't matter if they go fuck if you want to stay home or not. They'll terminate you. That's the thing, though. Trump said that no businesses can hold it against you. Right. They can't hold it against you until this whole thing blows over, and then a month later, you just so happen to get fired for no reason. With all due respect, I guarantee you if Sully gets terminated from his work because he didn't show up, I can almost bet Trump's going to give negative 17 fucks about that. Here's the thing. I'm, I'm not even going to lie, and, I'm, and, and it's going to sound very narcissistic what I'm about to say, but I work too fucking hard for them to fire me. All the shit that I say and do at work, they should have been fucking fired me. Like, I don't disrespect anybody at work, but I don't hold my job to a certain level of professionalism 
that they require me to have because I'm not a fucking robot. I have genuine conversations with the people who come in, like over politics and things like that. And they go, you shouldn't do that, blah, 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 blah. At the end of the fucking day, what is my job? Customer service. And if that person that, I, that I'm talking to leaves with a smile or even laughing... I did, did your job. I did my job, no matter what I have to say. Like, I literally, I'm not even going to sit here in front. Like, I don't curse in front of every customer, but I curse in front of customers that literally come in twice a fucking day. Oh, my God. We have genuine conversations, like real-life fucking human beings, and they leave every time with a smile. And as far as I'm concerned, I have over six surveys right now under my name with 100% overall satisfaction. So I'm doing my fucking job, whether they like it or not. People are leaving fucking satisfied, and they continue to come back because of me. And it's, it sounds so narcissistic that I fucking say that, but I really do fucking work hard. I'm working 65 fucking hours a week. I haven't had a day off. I was supposed to have a day off tomorrow, and my boss texted me and goes, can you pick up extra fucking hours because we really need you? And you know what I said? Yeah, sure, I'll come in. Because I know they fucking, I know they need people. And I'm just that kind of person. I can't say fucking no. Because I because if I say no, then the person who's working by themselves, are it's going to be hell for them working by them fucking selves. So while the um, CEO of Dollar General is probably in a limo somewhere getting his dick sucked by some fucking uh, German prostitute loving his life right now, uh, not having to worry about any kind of virus because he's probably got hand sanitizer and fucking... Uh, uh, disinfecting wipes shoved up his ass. Uh, I'm in one of his stores, busting my ass, sweating constantly, and uh, I'm around infected fucking people and might not even know it. Well, actually, I literally had a lady come into work yesterday. She said, back up from me six feet because I've been sick for six weeks and could not breathe. Today's the first day I'm allowed outside. Bitch, why you gotta come here? And you know the only thing I could do? Was this. That's all I could do. This is it. Put my shirt over my face and hope that whatever the fuck she's spitting out at me doesn't get through my shirt. They don't supply us with anything. Nothing at all. It, it, it's such a fucking disgusting uh, 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 workplace. Um, and I know a lot of people are like, well, why don't you just quit your job? That sounds a lot easier when you're sitting on your couch right now collecting unemployment. It, uh, I didn't say quit your job. It really does. No. <laughs> Well, Calamity, we know you're collecting on... You don't have to tell everybody you're collecting unemployment. I wasn't talking about you. I was just talking about, like, people in general. And we get no thanks. We get no fucking thanks. I had a lady come into work yesterday. I swear to God I wanted to marry this lady. She came in and she goes, You're doing great fucking work. I appreciate everything that you do. I wanted to marry that fucking lady. That was the first thank you I had gotten since this whole fucking shit started. None from the CEO. None from the district manager. None from the regional manager. None from anybody. Because the CEO doesn't fucking care. And I'm not going to sit here and flame my, my district manager. Because I actually really like my district manager. She's she's really fucking cool. But, um... She well, she's, a, she's just a little bit out of my age range, you know? She's, like, probably 45 married with, like, three kids. So, um... How old? Probably, like, 45. But, on a rating from 1 to 10, how hot of a 45-year-old is? Of a 45-year-old? I'd probably give her, like, yeah. a 6 or a 7. Oh, damn. You said 6, though. Yeah, no. I mean, like, I, I'm not going to sit here and say that she's a fucking, you know, she belongs on a magazine, but she's definitely not ugly. So, I mean, God forbid she sees this. <laughs> What's she, her name? Uh, I'm not going to say that because that's her own personal business. <laughs> but oh, it... I'm going to address her and tell her to hit me up if she, if she needed any... Uh... It, it, it really is fucking sad. It really is um, the kind of fucking conditions that Dollar General uh, puts their employees through. And then they think everybody's a fucking thief. We have to, if we buy something, we have to fucking write the receipt code on it. We have to tape receipts to it. We can't fucking go into the back with any fucking merchandise that isn't bought because, you know, we can't even, we have a thing on our computer where we can check the price of an item without actually scanning it. And um, we're not allowed to do that because Dollar General swears up and down that we're scanning an item and handing it back to the customer so they can walk out with it. So, I mean, like, they think we're all fucking thieves. They don't supply us with proper fucking equipment to, you know, uh, uh, be at least relatively in a fucking safe place when it comes to this whole coronavirus. And I don't even care. If a corona victim came up to me today, I would let them lick my eyeball. I really would. And I would hope, I would fucking hope that it would kill me. 
That's just where I'm at in life, personally. I don't. I. 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 I, I gotta tell you, I think I like you enough to maybe want to have you stare. Like, if I'm gonna be honest, and and it's not even like a joke thing. I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, I'm so sad and upset. I'm depressed all the time. No, I literally wake up every morning fucking praying I hadn't. That's just where I'm at in life. And it fucking sucks. I, 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 if I'm not exerting my body physically at work, working 65 fucking 70 hours a week, I'm sitting down in this chair, exhausting my body mentally. I just constantly overthink about problems that I have in my fucking life uh, that I'm not going to get into. But um, it's just a constant fucking cycle of me fucking myself over. And if I got corona, if it killed me, yeah, it'd be all right. As long as I get into the fucking, in, as long as I get into the pearly gates, I don't care. So, Lee, you know what it sounds like? What? You need to get laid. Sounds like I need to get laid. Bro, even when oh, I was... Corona, man. You can't see Even when I was getting laid, even when I was getting laid daily, I still couldn't, I still couldn't have fucking cared less. How long ago did your boyfriend move out? Um, my boyfriend, I think he, he still lives here. So... But I mean, I just, I, I, I don't care. A lot of you know, including, you know, some of the people that, including the people I'm talking to currently, I deal with my own problems. Um, you know, I talk to a lot of you guys. I talk to. What? You come and talk to us. You love us too much. I just, I just said that the people I'm talking to know I deal with my own problems. What do you? What did you not understand? I think he's a fucking idiot. But the people I'm talking to currently, they know I deal with my own problems. And yeah, I, I make videos, I laugh. I laugh until I'm crying. But those those are moments of happiness. Happiness comes in moments. Very, very small moments. And to those people who can walk around and literally be happy 24-7, I fucking hate you. That's creepy. But... Those small moments, man. That small moment of those dick lips, that lasted about... Yeah, that was fucking disgusting. But 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 I mean, daily throughout the day, you know, for hours on end. Um, I mean, I could never, I, I would never kill myself. I don't have the balls to do it. But if somebody had pulled out a gun and fucking pointed it at my forehead, I would just tell them to pull the trigger. Point blank, fucking period. I put the mouth, my mouth around the barrel. I could care. I could fucking care less about That's being here. Not because you want to die, Clammy. That's because you're weird and you like to blow things. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> No, but, I um, that was that was um that was my little rant about these these fucking nurses and doctors that are making these 2016 videos of fucking with those little cue cards that they kept fucking pulling them and the, the way that Dollar General treats their employees. I could go more into depth of how Dollar General treats their employees, but I won't. I said what I needed to said. I said what I needed said. Um. And uh, and that's it, man. I'm 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 fucking done with this video. I'm so disgusted with um with Dollar General. Uh, they're what do you mean I don't need it? They're fucking disgusting. So um yeah, that's it. Fuck it. Uh, do whatever you want to this video. If the CEO of Dollar General sees this video, I hope you come into my fucking store. So um, what if you do? Do not open up our group chat. I'm not going to. Um, oh my. Do not, um, God. you know, do whatever you want to this video, dislike it, like it, leave a comment, fucking share it, I really don't care, <laughs> um, I just, I'm really getting fucking sick and tired of, of the way people are nowadays, it's like these fucking, this new generation of fucking people are just so pussified for no fucking oh, reason. Speaking of pussified. Um, <laughs> we'll get into that, we'll get into that in a second, I ain't, you fucking, we'll get into that in a second, what's it? Once I finish this uh, this video, so do whatever you want to it. I really don't fucking care. I'm not even gonna do the outro because I'm 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 just up here with all the bullshit that's going on with this fucking coronavirus shit. Um, I'll see you in the I'll, I'll see y'all in the next video. I guess. Fuck it.